In this problem, we're being asked to find a difference quotient for this rational function 7 over x minus 3. The, the formula for a difference quotient here is this f of x plus h minus f of x over h, where, of course, h can't be 0 because it's the bottom of a fraction. Um, this form becomes really important in calculus, uh, but for right now, we're just kind of getting some practice with it, and it'll help us work on our, our advanced algebra skills. So what I need to do first is figure out what f of x plus h is. And I get that by just plugging in x plus h wherever I see x in the function. And that shouldn't be too hard. That should just be 7 over x plus h minus 3. So that's just this little chunk right here. And then we subtract f of x, the function, so that's 7 over x minus 3. And all of that goes over h. All right. So far, so good, but um, we need to try to simplify this. We've got a complex fraction here. We don't have common denominators. I think the technique I'm going to use here is to take both of these denominators and multiply the, t the top and the bottom by both of them. So I'm going to multiply by x plus h plus 3, sorry, minus 3 times x minus 3 over x plus h minus 3 times x minus 3. Now I'm multiplying by something over itself, so I'm really multiplying this by 1. So I'm not changing anything. On the top, when I multiply each of these fractions by this whole thing, so on the top I'd put x plus h minus 3 and x minus 3, the x plus h minus 3 is going to cancel for this first one. So all I would end up with is just 7 times x minus 3. That's quite a bit simpler. And then this one, the x minus 3s would cancel, and I'd just get left with the 7 uh, times that. So 7 times x plus h minus 3. Now all that is over h times x plus h minus 3 times x minus 3. All right, may not look a lot simpler yet, but we have a ways to go. We can distribute now. We can distribute the sevens here and the negative sign and, um, and see what happens. So distributing this seven, I'd get seven x minus 21. And distributing this negative seven, I'd get negative seven x, I like that, minus seven x, sorry, seven h uh, plus 21, and already, and see that some things are, are going to get simpler. And on the bottom here, I have h times x plus h minus 3 times x minus 3. OK. On top, I see that I have a 7x and a negative 7x right there. I have a 21, sorry, a negative 21 and a positive 21. So all I'm left with on top is negative 7h. And actually, look, this h can cancel with this h on the bottom. So I let me get rid of this h. So I'm really just left, left with negative 7 on the top and my two factors on the bottom, x plus h minus 3 and x minus 3. And I don't think it pays to do any multiplying out that doesn't really make it any simpler. So this is about as simple as we can get for our difference quotient.